So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week. So this usually goes on Sunday. So that way you guys have two days to get whatever stuff you want. We're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Xur, and Eververse in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a lot of people come to my channel and do not subscribe. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you really like my content, I would very much appreciate that. And if you guys don't like my content later on, you can always unsubscribe and let me know what I did wrong. So other than that, let's get into it. So envious touch for the first shader. I am going to be honest with you guys. I like this shader on the basis of just the texture on armor is really cool. Other than that, I will never use this just because I'm not a fan of it. I'm not the fan. I'm not the biggest fan of the white, honestly. Uh, Mad Monk. Mad Monk I usually use when I want to uh, color my cloak black. I feel like it's just such a good shader for that. Other than that, I never really use it outside of that. Uh, War Cult Endgame. I really like the shader. This is like one of my favorite shaders from, uh, from uh, Curse of Osiris. And yeah, it's one of the better shaders for the war cult or a uh, future war cult so for the armor i'm gonna have it up right now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i talk about this armor so much because surprisingly enough ada sells it so many times so i'm just gonna explain some of the things that so you might want to know before you pick up this armor even though i would still recommend it for everyone because you might never know when i don't know you like that's the thing you might never know when you might need it so I'm going to start with the hunters hunters any white mark that you see so like the white marks on the cloak and the helmet they don't change color same thing for yellow so there's yellow on the boots and the cloak if i remember correctly i think the chest piece is probably the best piece titans uh there anything that's bronze so i think the chest piece and the arms have some some bronze in there and the red anything with red does not change color which is very unfortunate and then warlocks i think all of it is ass um there's there's better pieces than this because funnily enough all of these are reused items from other pieces so if you want better pieces you definitely just go for the other world drop armors so that is pretty much it for the armor let me know what you guys are going to be picking up as for banshee we're looking at luna luda 4b no distraction successful warm-up Cartesian coordinate with hit fire grip and high impact reserves. Man, they had a Cartesian coordinate like a few days ago that was like really good. So hit fire grip on this one. I don't I, I personally don't like hit fire grip, but I mean have at it if you like it. Annual skate with triple tap and dragonfly. Cold denial with grave robber and sympathetic arsenal, and then bump in the night with stats for all and frenzy. Um, this is a red border weapon, so if you are interested, definitely pick that one up. But I don't, I there's nothing here that I'm like, yo, it's more like, nah, whatever. As for Zer, he's in the hangar in the tower, currently selling, dude, he's currently selling the season of the forge like seasonal armor, which is super cool. This is before we had a season pass, too. So, this was the armor that you would get just from playing the season activity. And I'll have all the ar armor up right now. I got to go to collections to see the armor. I mean, I know how the hunters look. I'm pretty sure I know how the Titans look, but the Warlocks is the one that I'm like, I don't remember you, bro, like at all. So hunters, unfortunately, I really like the helmet, but I also hate it because there's eyes on the side and it looks super goofy. Arms are pretty cool. I think the chest piece is kind of terrible. I think the boots are really cool. That being said, I don't like that the waist is really thin. And I think the cloak is absolutely dog water. Don't use it. Uh, Titans, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The arms are super dope. I love the arms. The helmet, I'm not the biggest fan of because uh, a few years back when I was at, when this was still live, we were looking at the armor and someone said, man, that, that helmet looks like a chipmunk. And I've never been able to get that out of my head. So I can't use the helmet, unfortunately. Chest piece, I'm whatever's on. I think the boots best boots in the game for me well one of the best boots in the game and then the mark like weirdly enough i like it a lot as well warlocks i think the helmet is decent the arms are pretty cool the boots are a shittier or not the boots the chest piece is a shittier version of the raid armor from that season uh boots definitely can be used and the bond is like whatever so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up as for the armor rolls i'll have them up right now i'm going to be honest with you guys <clears throat> I definitely think you should pick this up. This is very rare armor. This is from, oh man, this is from when Forsaken was still like active because this was the first season after Forsaken was over. And yeah, it's, 
I don't know. It's rough because like some of the pieces are really rough because they don't look good with other pieces. But at the same time, there's other pieces where I'm like, ooh, this looks great with everything. Specifically, like the Titans uh, boots, they go with they go well with almost everything. But the arms is the one that I'm like, it's hard to use. So. That is pretty much it for the rolls. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. But for the weapons, we have no reprieve with triple tap and focus fury, which is decent. Um, like actually, because triple tap, you're going to be getting one round in the magazine with focus fury. You're literally have you have to hit your shots. So th this is going to be pretty cool. Will people use it? Probably not just because there's other better things out there. But I don't know. It's, it's one of those things like. uh well, this is a red border weapon as well, I should probably mention. Uh, Ikelos SMG, Perpetual Motion and Gut Shot Straight. I will ignore this. Spare Rations with Snapshot Sights and Vorpal. You can farm Spare Rations right now, so don't feel obligated to get this because you can just go and do the Season of the Deep stuff. Tarnished Metal with Moving Target and Multi-Kill Clip. Uh, Ikelos uh, Shotgun with Grave Robber and Swash, which is it's pretty good. It's just... I also, I don't know, I wouldn't get this personally. Interference uh, 5, I always called it VI. <laughs> uh, 5 or 4, I don't remember. No, not 5, it's either 4 or 6. Uh, auto loading holster and swash, and then just in case with, it doesn't matter because that short is trash. So the red borders are going to be no reprieve, uh, tarnished metal, and Ikelos shotgun with the Ikelos SMG. If this is the third, this should be the third version. Yeah, it is. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up from the weapons. As for the exotics, we have snapshot sights, which I actually really like a lot. Uh, <clears throat> smooth grip. I'm pretty sure these still change. And then for the other stuff, we have Lord of Wolves, dude. <clears throat> Lord of Wolves. I was just watching, uh, rewatching one of my old clips from uh, Instagram. Cause if you guys know i have an instagram i don't post right now just because uh it's a lot of work but i don't remember the fire being a thing must be a bug um but yeah this this gun has been busted so many times uh it's hilarious to me uh gwen's invest which i would just ignore this warm god caress decent and then fell winters jesus that mobility is way too high so I would still recommend you guys to pick it up if you're new or don't have all the exotics just because you might never know when uh, Gwen's Invest gets a rework because I think the the perk right now is just fucking trash. Like, ain't no one using Spectral Blade, bro. Like, really. Promise you. And then Warm God Caress. Uh, <clears throat> this is decent. It's not the best one I've ever seen, but it's, it's decent. Let me see what I end up getting here and then we'll go to Eververse real quick. Uh, Orpheus Riggs, really? Mm -hmm. Not terrible. Like, genuinely. Oh, shit. Okay, it's probably... You know what? Hold on. Um, Do I even have a roll? No, I don't. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, I guess I... Yeah, I guess I'll do this then. Uh, later, obviously. But, uh, Eververse. Let's go to Eververse real quick. So as for Eververse, we have Gloom Strife, which, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Um, it's the yellow, the green, I'm uh, like the brown's fine. It's just, you know what? Even the orange to a certain extent is fine. I think it's just the this color. This color really brings it, like just takes me out of it. We have a uh, Atlantic Rush. I don't hate this color combo. I just hate the armor that I have on it. Um, Crystalline Breakout. Which is the uh, Nizarak one. We have Smooth Dance. Glaive Mistake. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have... Oh, shit, that's right. I, okay, I'm just going to get this now before I forget. Corrupted Logic. <clears throat> which is SIVA. Which is the reason why I want to get it. Because I do have a lot of SIVA looks, which... I know I didn't post it in the like the Tuesday week video or Wednesday, I should say. Um, so I'll post it up right now and hopefully I remember when I'm editing it. But <laughs> it is really cool and my SIVA looks are like decent. That being said, the the Titan one should get a rework considering they have a another SIVA ornament. Uh, Rabbit's Chase, which is the New Year's one, which I don't think it looks terrible. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, Taurus Rocketeer, which is also the New Year's one. Uh, 
let me tell you, which I don't really care about this, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Uh, Legomorpha Lunaria. I feel like at this point they just make weird, complicated names just to fuck with us. Uh, Magic Lamp. I don't know what this is a reference to, but cool. Uh, Signal Intercept. Which I don't think this one looks bad. This one looks super cool. Uh, Champion Entrance. Cabal Shield Breaker. And then Tyrion Abyss. Which, where is the purple in this, bro? I know I said it in the weekly video, but dog, like, there's no purple here. To be fair, though, I would never use this shader. Though. I think the off-white is pretty terrible with the combination of black. Uh, Golden Age Wine. <clears throat> I'm, I'm nothing to add to that. It's like, it's whatever. It's Chrome Stock, which... The more I look at this shader, the more I, I kind of, like, want to use it. And then Temperature Wash, which kind of reminds me of just like the American flag <laughs> so let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up I that is pretty much it for the video if you guys want to leave definitely leave I appreciate you guys coming up to this point but I'm not gonna talk too long anyways I'm just gonna be speaking about some things so I am currently working on the class specific videos I think the hunter one should be coming out by Saturday so the hunter one should have been out by now if I'm doing everything how I'm thinking about doing it I'm also still working on the exotic videos. I just have to uh, edit them because I've done the audio uh, part for it. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm working on a bunch of content right now. If you guys want to see other content, let me know in the comments below. But I also should probably address, I got a comment the other day and I don't want to like put this person on blast, but essentially they were like, you need to make your videos shorter. Um, I'm not going to say exactly what he said, but yeah, he was like, uh, condense it. You don't have to talk that much and whatever. And I got a lot of people not only in <clears throat> in that video, but another video just basically explaining how they like me talking about other stuff. And I really appreciate it because I was actually kind of self-conscious about that when he commented that like, oh, well, I guess I'll start shutting up and doing the main stuff. But I really appreciate those who were like, no, I actually like when you talk about or go into like tangents because uh, I turn off my computer or I turn off, not turn off my computer. I like minimize it and then just hear it in the background. And I'm, ha I'm very happy I got kind of those comments because I will be doing a lot more commentary videos where it literally is just me playing like a crucible match in the background and it's just going to be me talking about some things I want to talk about specifically like uh, how I think SRL can be a mainstay in this game um, <clears throat> and if you guys don't know what SRL is it's uh, Sparrow Racing League which is sounds exactly what it is it was a racing like not simulator, but it was a racing thing for sparrows. It was really cool. You, ha we had armor, which was super dope, and I will be going through that in depth. I might actually hook up my PS4 and go back to Destiny One, so that way I can showcase the armor. And if not, I'll probably just take some pictures from Google. <clears throat> but it's a lot of things. Let me get my notebook real quick because I have a notebook of just all the content that I like write down that I may or may not do, and like. I have one hard mode needs to come back and hard more spe more specifically I speak about uh, the raid I, I think raids need hard modes again and give us like actual loot uh, what to do it when destiny 2 is stale change well that's changing my content with other fashion so Final Fantasy 14 which I'm still working on that comparison video um, solo flawless needs better rewards dungeon armor not matching the setting um, I also have to um, <clears throat> what's it called I also have to update my tier list armors if you guys don't know I made tier list for dungeon season pass armor and raid armors as well so like I've done that I'm gonna be doing a tier list for iron banner uh, worthy playlist armor sets that bad which I already have a bulk of it done I just need to edit it uh, season loadout sets, which I'm also already working on. I just need to do the audio for that. And specifically for that one, it's just going to be looking at the loadouts that I have currently for this season. It's going to be like an end of season type video. But because this season still has like, what is it, 100 and something days still? Let me see. Yeah, 108 days still. So I'm going to be doing like probably three. One right now. One like a, like a, 
maybe two months later and then another one two no maybe a month or before like the season ends so we'll probably do that because i feel like i will change my loadouts maybe and if i don't then i might just do like a small video where i look at everyone's because the other thing is i it's going to be class specific so the hunters are going to have one titans are going to have one the warlocks are going to have one and if again if i don't change my loadouts by the end of this season then i might just have like a quick recap of like okay so this is the small things that i changed or i didn't change much so that is pretty much it let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point i especially appreciate you guys that uh like this this part of the video where i just talk about stuff that's going on with the channel or my life essentially and yeah it's it's really i really appreciate it because i really want to keep you guys in the loop i don't want you guys th like thinking like oh like i wonder what he's doing later i want you guys to know what kind of content i'm going to be pushing out and for the little things for like the videos where i want to be a surprise i will still keep to myself but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.